Hey there, Colin from Sonic Scholar. Today I just want to give you a little bonus tip on how to keep the console window of a console application in .NET always on the top. I was looking for a way to do this because I make videos and uh, I want to be able to have Visual Studio going and have the output console window stay on top of the screen while I'm stepping through the code and keep it all on one monitor and so it looks nice and everything. Anyway, I was Googling around for way too long I really couldn't figure out anything, so I decided to go ask ChatGPT and see what it could help me with, and I was delighted that it could help me out. So let's take a look at that. And as you'll see, I just asked uh, in C-sharp, how do I make the console window always stay on top? Uh, I'll kind of explain what's going on here a little bit, because uh, there is some magic going on here. So basically, what it, we've started off with is there's this DLL import attribute. You give it a string that is the name of the DLL to uh, import the function from. And then this static extern bool. Essentially what this is, the set window position function is one that already exists in the user32 DLL. It's part of the operating system in Windows. And uh, essentially this is a way that you can make C sharp call into a, a C library um, right within C sharp. So uh, what we have here, that's called a platform invoking or P invoke. And what's going on is um, we have this, it said, okay, use this C sharp call system diagnostics process. That's the class. There's a get current process method and then a main window handle property that uh, returns an int pointer. It's essentially just an integer but uh, int pointers are used um, kind of in this in-between land of C-sharp and um, C. So what we do is we get this uh, window handle, we pass it into the set window position. This is what actually calls this external, it's basically saying, hey, look, I, you know, I don't have a function defined for set window position, but um, you can find it in this DLL and then we Pass in some magic parameters to make sure that it's always on top. I'm not going to get into the details of that. Um, and then I was like, okay, this is great. I tried it out. I did not have success because this console window handle was null. And so this, this will work for um, Windows Forms applications, WPF. But uh, there's a specific case with the console app that I couldn't get it to work. So. What I did is I told ChatGPT uh, this variable is always zero or null when I run the code. And uh, awesomely, it decided to give me the workaround. So it says, yes, this main window handle property of the process class returns zero for console applications. That's what I was working with. Um, and it kind of gives a reason why I learned to not take anything that ChatGPT says as gospel, but um, more as helpful information that provides context. So um, what it ended up giving me was another p invoke function that I can call. This one's in the kernel 32 DLL. And um, instead of the process get current process main window handle, Sure enough, I got that working and I was super happy. So let's get into how this actually works. I've got the code up here and we'll go ahead and start the debugger. And as I bring the console window in, you can see that as I click on Visual Studio, the console window disappears and I've got way too many other tabs open. So, you know, this gets to be a little bit inconvenient for demos. Uh, anyway, we'll step into this function Basically, I've reproduced everything that was in that example. I've got my two P invokes here, uh, set window position and get console window. And as I step over the first line, I can look and see, yeah, this actually is not a non-zero value. And then it calls the set window position. And watch, as soon as I hit that, the console window just popped up. And this is great, even though I'm, I'm in Visual Studio has the focus console window is uh, topmost. So um, I can show as I step into one of these demos and I'm outputting text to the console window, it's showing up here. Super cool. So just a fun little tip. Um, if you are interested in learning strings, regex, uh, string manipulation, anything like that, 
stick around for this video series and then check out, I've got this uh, cheat sheet for you. Everything to do with string manipulation, escape characters and uh, comparisons, formatting. And on the back side, I've got a whole page just on regex with tons of examples. So you're welcome to check that out. And then all the source code for this uh, will be included as well. Click the link in the description or you can go to www.sonicscholar.com slash string theory and check that out. Anyway, hope that helped you. If you're sticking around for the string theory playlist, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. And if not, no worries, but I'll see you in the next video.